Hello. <clears throat> Today I'd like to talk with you about the role that fats play on brain health and mood. Many people are not aware that the brain is composed of over 70% fat. So seriously, if someone calls you a fathead, it's really the truth. The types of fat that a person ingests ultimately get incorporated into cellular membranes of the body, including the brain. Many hormone and neurotransmitter receptors are transmembrane proteins. These receptors are embedded in the phospholipid bilayer of cellular membranes. The theory is that the more fluid the cellular membrane, the better the transmembrane receptors function. Anything that alters membrane fluidity can impact behavior, mood, and mental function. Too much saturated in the fat diet leads to stiffer cellular membranes and also an increase in pro-inflammatory arachidonic acid. Too much trans fat in the diet wreaks havoc in the body by elevating LDL cholesterol, lowering HDL cholesterol, and increasing insulin resistance. Additionally, in studies with, with rats fed a high trans fat diet, the rats literally became more stupid and were unable to find their way through a maze. So, think twice before you reach for some convenient snack food that contains hydrogenated fat, just so it can have a longer shelf life. The common thinking on these different omega-3 fatty acids is that EPA is for the heart and DHA is for the brain. There's a reasonable sounding argument behind this notion, which is based on the fact that DHA is the major component of the brain, whereas there's a relatively small amount of EPA in the nervous system. So when research started to look at countries and individuals who consumed more fish, it's who, and they seem to be more resistant to depression, schizophrenia, seasonal affective disorder, and bipolar disorder, almost everyone leapt to the conclusion that the secret must be the high DHA. In 1999, a double-blind, placebo-controlled study at Harvard Medical School involving bipolar patients showed that 86% of the patients taking high-dose EPA fish oil capsules went into remission, whereas only 38% of the placebo group did. Interestingly, Dr. Stoll, the lead investigator in the Harvard Bipolar Trial, says that his clinical observation is, quote, too much DHA relative to EPA may cause a worsening of mood. I therefore recommend using a supplement with as high of an EPA content as possible. Metametrics Laboratories offers a cutting edge test called the red blood cell fatty acid analysis. I tell my patients that literally this is a dipstick to their health. The test reveals the actual fatty acid composition of the red blood cell membrane. It shows you the various breakdown of the omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids, saturated fats, and trans fats, which make up the membrane. Clinically, I find the EPA level the AA to EPA ratio, which is arachidonic to EPA level, and also the EPA to DGLA ratio to the most helpful fatty acid biomarkers. This helps me to fine tune the proper balance for both dietary and supplement recommendations in my patients. This is especially important in patients with mood disorders. So thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to speaking with you more in our next podcast on functional medical testing for optimal brain health.